what's up, everybody? It's more Street Fight Club podcast. There were supposed to be more people here, but hey, whatever. Okay, so I'm Ebar, as usual, and we've got my buddy Finest is here. How you doing, Finest? Hey, everybody. It's Finest. <laughs> now, Finest also has brought us a very special guest. Finest, let us know what's going on here. <laughs> it's Mr. Christopher Harris. Hi, guys. Let's tell us a little bit about yourself, Chris. Uh, I am an artist that lives in Kansas City. That's really about it. I kind of just hang out inside my little basement all day long and draw pictures of farts and robots. It looks of almost like a farts. Uh, farts. Yeah, okay. That's what... Yeah. All right, so anyway, I don't know if you guys have seen before on my channel. Uh, months ago, I posted something because Finest... Um, Hey, 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 oh, here we go. Maybe, possibly. What's well, okay? We've got another guest here. Fine, let's introduce us. This. What up? Oh, and now for your viewing pleasure, we have a very tight, uh, zoomed-in picture of Chris <laughs> Burgess. No, see, I'm actually just really close to the camera. There's totally a difference. Who is uh, obviously lives at a train station. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay, Chris so Burgess, I... tell us about yourself. Me? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know if you want to know about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Not like your record to... or anything. Oh, God. Thank God. I was really worried for a minute. Uh, you know, born and raised here in uh, Lebanon, Missouri, and uh, always been interested in science fiction and our uh, Western thing. That's why we're doing this uh, comic book called Charlie. It's really not much. Met Finest there a long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, back in the good old days but yeah, yeah i had put a video about uh charlie whenever it first came out um it was the same it was the video that uh you two had done and then i just put a little intro for on my channel so people would not be completely confused by it but uh yeah so anyway let's talk about charlie since we have you all here these are the three people that came together to bring us the epic comic that is charlie so What's up? What? Let me just ask you this. What? Why of all the ideas? Because I know all of you are creative or whatever. Why this one? Why did you say this is the one that we want to make a comic book about? Because robots kick ass, man. <laughs> That's true. That's right really, on. That's really about it, you know. <laughs> uh, I think one of the things we decided on is just uh, what it, I think uh, Finest, when he first uh, pitched this idea to me, it all started with, uh, what was it? Wally with guns, I think, was the uh, the initial pitch line, and we're like, yeah, you know, we can run with that, and it just kind of evolved into, well, what it is. So, no, it just started kind of through like a uh, crazy text message string uh, <laughs> yeah. where we're just pitching ideas back and forth. But, uh, but yeah, that was the gist. That was the first idea that it's Wally's Wally with guns. And some of those uh, ideas cause... will probably never see the light of day, and for good reason. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ideas that would uh, make people think a lot differently about the people that we are. <laughs> we might be on a watch list of some sort. But anyway, uh, so we let that percolate for a long time and eventually turned into a script. Uh, the funny thing is, though, uh, comic books have pictures. And uh, I've heard that. What? a lot of people like pictures. those more than they do the words. Uh and we can't draw. Chris it, used to be able to draw. Chris, kind uh, of the close-up Chris. Let's but uh, let's not get crazy with saying Chris could draw. Chris could, like, kind of, in a way, draw. I remember it, one time you drew a Metallica CD cover and they put it on the wall at the school. Yeah, that's that's not saying a lot. They put a lot <laughs> on the wall. I mean, that's just kind of it's like a special needs thing where they're like, "Oh, you're so good." Like Mrs. Barton was like, oh, that kid. That kid's well, that going places. Mrs. Rhodes, and she was uh, a <laughs> little... <laughs> she... Yeah, and Finus, you used to be able to draw Ninja Turtles. You drew one in my yearbook. <laughs> so I know for sure you can draw, so don't lie, that's, bro. That's like two bubbles on top of each other. <laughs> with little isolates. We, you never know. We might have Ninja Turtles showing up later. I mean, that sounds awesome. We're throwing but, uh, copyright to the to the wind. Yeah, no <laughs> IP. Okay, so you needed art. So what what drove you to Mr. Harris here? We went to his. Uh, well, 
Finus her, saw something about him, this glorious man beast you see before you. And uh, <laughs> he uh, he was like, man, we should, you should check this guy out. And we went and looked at his art page and everything. And he actually had a picture that we found out, I guess, is from uh, somebody else's comic idea they had. But it was basically this uh, bison looking buffalo guy with a pair of six shooters on his hips and everything. And I was like, holy crap, that's our uh, that's our alien idea. This this guy was meant for us. Nice. It was meant to be. So how, did they, how did they approach you, Christopher Harris? Uh, Finus sent me a message, and it was just, with I lots did, of nudity. Yeah, it was oh, full frontal, which is really what I'm into. But uh, I think it was something <laughs> yeah, it was like, "Hey, man, you're, we want to send you a script. You want to check it out? Tell us what you think." And I'm pretty sure I got back to you guys pretty quickly, didn't I? Like, I think I read yeah. it that day. Oh, same day. Yeah, dude. it was. Yeah, it was that yeah. night. You got back to us after reading it, and it sounded pretty stoked. I mean, who? Yeah, I loved it. Could be a good actor. I don't know, but no, I, I'm really into that. Well, I mean, like cyberpunk stuff is always like every artist likes it, but I read the story and like I'm really into that kind of like updated Western. You'll hear me describe it in a billion different ways, but it was right up my alley. <laughs> like I had to say yes to it. Hell yeah! What drew me to it? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say what drew me to it besides the uh, bison guy. Was I was working on the anthology that that never came through, but uh, Chris had drawn a cover to it. And it was like this amazing, uh, super detailed, huge alien in space that had these astronauts like working on his head or whatever. Yeah, you, you, yeah. I mean, he had a print of it. Uh, he has a print of it that he sells. But I was like, this guy is awesome. I love Not that. as a person, it's but like, like at least as an artist. No, I'm a total <laughs> scrub, but I can draw good. <laughs> I don't want no scrubs. No so, so for people that may not have gotten a chance to read Charlie, which most people watching this will not have, what what's the basic gist of it? What's going what on? Trying, what are you trying to say that most people? <laughs> most not, people. Well, no, a lot of people don't have access. Haven't had access. To oh, that's that's a good. Cover. I think I, like I think that. we're worldwide at this point, <laughs> like Pitbull. <laughs> Dude, what? I'm, I'm I think something. we're worldwide like Pitbull right now. Yeah, oh, don't bring gotcha. Pitbull into this. <laughs> So what's the gist? Of, like, what's going on in the story? Oh well, we got a uh, our lead character uh, Charlie, which I mean, looks C H A R L one three. It's the reason for that is I mean, uh, the Charl part is an acronym because I'm a sucker for acronyms, I guess. I don't know, but a uh, cybernetic humanoid armed response laborer, and his model is thirteen. And the reason we went with that is because we thought it would be kind of cool to have this badass robot that uh, whenever you meet the co-lead, which is this little girl named Carrie, you get to see more of her in issue two. But uh, she sees him. She sees that printed on him and thinks, oh, that's Charlie. She just misreads it. And it makes it kind of a nice approachable name for this uh, big robot who might be otherwise kind of, I don't know, well, obviously less than human. He's right. a death machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a badass. I like to think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I read the first issue and it's awesome. Like <laughs> the the story was it it was interesting from the very beginning. You know what I mean? It, it never there's no lull, and I know it's just the first issue or any and everything. But uh, and then the art just seemed to match it perfectly, in my opinion. You know what I mean? For the story that you're going for, as far as it being kind of a a Western type thing, but still set in the future or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I really enjoyed it though. I, I like uh, Chris's use of color. Like uh, we talked, we talked about that a little bit. I thought it was pretty cool that he didn't go with the uh, crazy, just you know, drab, uh, you know, typical stuff. He actually went for. He's like, you know what? You can have you know this post-apocalyptic story and still have some color and have some interesting, uh, you know, color. I keep saying that word, but I mean, I really don't know another word for it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you guys have been booking cons, or what's been going yeah. on with that? Yeah. Well, we just did. Uh, we just did Vision Con not too long ago, and uh, met a bunch of really cool people. Sold uh, sold quite a bit, actually. I mean, I thought so. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact I've never sold anything before, but I thought <laughs> we did pretty awesome. <laughs> We got yeah. to meet a lot of people too. That was cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was definitely did a lot of networking. It was really cool meeting a lot of these other guys that are doing this indie comic scene. Uh, what well, we're carried in, is it five, six stores now? 
seven. We're multi-state, like that. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> How many I states the, is multi-state? The best person we met was uh, the guy, the photographer that Chris with the K and I met. Uh, <laughs> they, he was a pretty interesting guy. Do you want to talk about him, Chris? Yeah, he was. I can almost remember his name, but I'm not going to try. But uh, <laughs> he was telling us all about how Photoshop, that he's this budding photographer, and he's always been this brilliant artist, but he refused to like do anything digital, and it was just the way of idiots. And he was just going on and on, telling us about how his brother was such this beautiful artist. and He like owned Apple or something? <laughs> yeah, he, like, he invents an Apple. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Did he invent the internet? He could have very well, yeah. Um, I think he invented photography as well, but uh, That's he was just... Legit. He's the biggest turd we've ever met. <laughs> At a convention, anyway, but. After taking about 30 minutes of our time, he's like, you know, I'm just, uh, he's like flipping through Chris's book of prints and he's like, you know, I'm just not seeing anything I can't live without. <laughs> and then walks away. And this is, he like looked through the books. We, he looked through everything on the table and then he just kind of <laughs> bounced after that. What a dude. Like, Immediately nice with some cosplaying girls and hit on them. Oh, yeah. And yeah, immediately. I mean, he walked three feet and just couldn't stop himself. That's a good guy. <laughs> so so what's the next one you guys are doing? What's the next con? Uh, Planet Comic Con at the end of the month is our next stop. That's an awesome show, too. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. I'm a little I scared. Like what, what do you got booked for? Is it just like a, a table where they can come meet you? Or are you doing like a thing where you talk to people? Or what's going down? Just to say, we do the whole package. You know, you come to the table, and I mean, we'll talk to you for free. I mean, maybe <laughs> if you buy something, I mean, yeah. Well, so not for free. Well, you know, it's not split hairs. <laughs> I mean, but <laughs> semantics. We will definitely for free talk to you if you buy something. Yeah, exactly. And you can take that to the bank. I mean, if not, just keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. Like, what, what's the process? Is it just like? signing up and paying a fee or like how do you get in one of those there is some vetting to it i mean they do let in a lot of people but recent years they've gotten better about not letting just every turd in there so really kind of yeah you like apply to it and if they think you're going to be good they let you roll into it nice but for this uh purposes of this i'm going to say that they chose us uh we received a phone call mm -hmm. and they're like please can you come down here they're yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we have Ron Perlman coming. We were wondering if you guys could come too. Like they were just they called you right after Ron Perlman. Every names trying to entice us. <laughs> I mean, it was one of those things. Ron actually told them. He was like, "Listen, I mean, I don't mind to do your little con, but I mean, if if Charlie's not there, Ronnie ain't there. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> old Ronnie P ain't showing up. And that's what he that calls sounds exactly like him. Old Ron, <laughs> old Ronnie P. Nice. Yeah. So, you know, issue one's kind of been out for a while now. When did you? When did it originally release? Like summer, December. Uh, what was the okay? Yeah, well, the now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Before You're now. only off by like you know half a year. It's all right. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it was a really warm December. Mm. It was so warm. That's what you're saying. Okay. So, so what's the prospects on issue two? When's that coming? Soon. I've. Thumbnailed the whole book and I'm penciling it now, and then I'll ink it and color it, and we'll be ready to party. Luckily, the coloring and part will go quicker since we already have like the palette and the scheme ready to go. So there's a little more detailed. I don't want to give anything away, but the second half of the book is going to have some really righteous, just gritty, detailed stuff going on. Oh yeah, it'll be fun. It's looking pretty good. I know that like every kinda... writer, creator, whatever says this, but. I'm really excited for this one. Like, the first yeah. one we got a lot of exposition and world building out of the way, and the second issue is almost all action. Like, there's something pretty yeah. much happening every page. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty like nonstop on this. Oh yeah. I always okay. kind of look at this as like a, it's almost like a band. Like when Fina said earlier about the thing, people are usually more interested in the pictures and the art than they am the story a lot of the time. Yeah, uh, and it's one of those things that like I always look at it. Chris is like the uh, lead guitarist guy that you always want to see shred. Like that's who you, people pay the money for. And Finus and I are the bassists that we just come in and, <laughs> and put down that sick beat that nobody really even knows is happening and nobody really cares. But you know, <laughs> that's a good analogy. 
I like it. So, so how far ahead, like, you know, issue two is whatever, but how far ahead do you guys have the story so far? Do, do you know what the end game is? I mean, I'm not asking for what it will be, but just like, do you know how far it's going to go or is it open ended right now? Right now, it's kind of, I mean, Finus and I have talked and we talked about, I mean, I guess in a way it's kind of open ended, but we do have a structure to it. I mean, we're not just flying blind. We know definitely key notes we want to hit. And I know I would like to try and do something like between 10 and 12 issues. I mean, I don't know if that's feasible. I don't know if we really have that much, but I, I like that. To me, that seems like that's a good amount of time to tell a pretty awesome story without having to cut any corners or anything. For sure. I also like that we ha we know where we're going. I, I know that as we write this, there's going to be some surprises come up. You know, uh, you know, things will happen that we're like, well, that was that wasn't such a good idea, but but we do have a pretty definite know where we're going to end this and uh, where we're headed. Well, you know, sweet. Seems like a good ride to be on. So, what else do you guys think? What else do you want to tell us about it? Chris, uh, do you want to talk about any of your other projects? Uh, I'm working on couple of projects. I'm designing this really cool table card game. I can't really talk too much about it, but it's like Magic the Gathering, but if all the cards and characters were just weapons, it, it's mm. going to be bonkers cool, but I'm producing that right now. I should have it done by the end of the year. And then I'm working on a book with uh, Brian Hawkins, and it's about this guy that kills himself and his friend tries to go back in time to save his life that's the best way to describe it and that's really it i have this idea that we've been talking about this kind of neo tokyo samurai ghost hunting story mm -hmm. but it's still kind of in the baby stages but that's really about it it's basically right. pokemon right it's like pokemon <laughs> with like a, the girl's the main character instead of the little uh boy and and the guy's name is uh Jikachu. Yeah, I think, I think the main Jikachu? character. Is which like is Thomas totally Summer just changed Robin. enough, which is what we yeah. got for. Yeah. <laughs> We're That's a company who just changed enough. I like how Chris uh, still kind of furthered the rock star analogy I had earlier because right there when you asked him what was going on, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm working on something. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I really can't talk about it. But, <laughs> yeah, you can trust me. It's, it's pretty sweet. People will like it. It'll be cool. <laughs> you have a website or uh, anything that people should check out? I do. I actually just spent the past week updating it. It's just Christopher, when my name's spelled the most obnoxious way ever, but ChristopherTheArtist.com, and I'm not going to spell my name out. You can Google it. And then That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I have Facebook, too. It's linked in there as well. And uh, uh, you yeah, can yeah, find I'll out more the about links Charlie. everything in it's, the description. Uh, what? I'll put the links do not talk. Talk. in the description of this video. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. This find just us evolved up. really quickly. I'm just saying. Oh, it, doesn't, it doesn't take long. So uh, anyway, if you want to learn more about Charlie, which you probably don't, but if you do, <laughs> uh, you, can go to, you do. I mean, it's pretty awesome. You, you can go to facebook.com uh, slash charl13 comic. Easy. Facebook, Easy peasy. Facebook? Is, that, is that a new site? It's I've like a rip off of Twitter. Are you talking about Friendster? Oh my god, I love Friendster. All my friends were there once. <laughs> oh, once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you, Chris Burgess? Uh, what about me? Do you have anything coming up? Or Crazy you have a website personal or information. Oh uh, no, I uh, I have a Facebook What's your page. <laughs> uh, my social. I mean, you know, I mean, I guess I could get that. I mean, I don't see any harm. Credit card uh, number. What? Yeah, what are you <laughs> whatever. Whatever. on your credit card. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I. Uh, Oh, I got a Facebook page that I uh, neglect often. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's about all I got. Pretty much anything I do is with uh, these guys here, especially you know talking finest. I mean, that's obviously the main partner in crime I have. For we bounce off ideas off each other. I, I will say that like you guys do crime. Oh yeah. We didn't. We didn't uh, well, crime. you know, I no, no. probably shouldn't have said Shut that. Up, I mean, Chris. this Shut god up. damn it! I, fuck Shut man. up! I really. Well, wow, you guys do crime. Well, and it's None of this is open court. Not a word of it. I like those. <laughs> no, I was gonna say what like I, something I do like is uh, 
working with finest actually i mean it's one of those things a lot of people I this. get the uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god i didn't realize you were on this call uh chris old buddy <laughs> no, the uh well hear me out first before you convince right. me that's fine the, uh, <laughs> it's like one of those uh compliments that ends with him be like but i fucking hate him Oh God, he's awful. No idea. He <laughs> might have just ruined the ending, but you know. Right. Spoiler alert. No, it, it, a lot of people. I mean, especially when it comes to any artsy types, you usually have to deal with a lot of ego. I mean, that's just part of the package of being creative, I guess. A lot of the times, and and while we might have that, it seems like it never comes into play with the two of us. Like both of us are really good about. Uh, I don't know. We can bounce ideas off each other. It's kind of nice. I mean, anytime one of us has something like, hey, what if we do this? And then the other one's like, or we could build off that and do this. And it comes up, in my opinion, with something better. There's a lot of times where when you're dealing, especially with another writer or something, I mean, if somebody gives you pitches an idea and somebody's there to squash that idea in any respect, it usually gets ugly. And we really don't. I mean, it's pretty cool. And Chris, you've been awesome too. I mean, I, I like working with you. <laughs> I actually do. I mean, you've you've been really cool. This I think we're a really good team. None of us has ever come up with something that made the other two just go, shut the fuck up. No. No. Not yet. I mean everybody yeah, not yet. It, it's coming, you know. I'm saving that one. Yeah, I just think we're a good team. I don't know. I agree. Finest, do you we're agree? All, we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's had better. Nothing I can't live without. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that's a good comment. <laughs> any uh, any final thoughts on Charlie from any of you guys? Anything you want to make sure that everybody knows or anything? Or Come check it awesome. out. His robo genitals have multi speeds. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I, so that I must be an issue too, because I didn't see that. that. Yeah, just spilled the beans on issue two, guys. Spoiler. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, you gotta you gotta do something to tease them. You know, you gotta yeah. bring those readers in. Mm -hmm. yeah, Twenty-two I'll, pages. Uh, it's about fifteen pages of Robo Six. At least. I mean, <laughs> only fifteen. Well, we started with oh, got a, a manifesto of just <laughs> Robo Six, and we were like, well, you know, the last is five pages is like people... really huffing really loudly, like he's just <laughs> so worn out. <laughs> If people are interested in checking Charlie out, is there a way that they can do it online? Yeah, for sure. If they stop by <laughs> Facebook, I, just, I love how all three of us are like, "Yeah, you got this." Uh, we have we, a, we each other. We have a button on our page that if you just click, it'll take you right to purchasing the first issue, and it's. I mean, it's pretty painless. Can you still purchase physical copies or just digital? I think we have some floating around, don't we? Yeah, we still have some. Yeah. yeah, we we are at a uh, one or two shops in Springfield. Is it just the uh, Cosmic King, right? Yeah, we have copies available in Springfield at Cosmic King and Lebanon at uh, Freedom Comics and Shadow and, the Nerd and Shadow the Nerd. Somewhere uh, up in your yeah. area, right, Chris? Yeah, where's that KC? We sold out a couple times at a couple shops. I know. I thought Elite Comics. I just brought some two weeks ago. I haven't Not heard to brag, but we sold out sold in multiple shops. I mean, yeah, easily. That's good shit. All right, then. Well, uh, these are the, the guys that brought Charlie to the world. So unless there's anything else, I guess uh, we're good. Right, guys? We hold them in all their glory. <laughs> there's so much glory. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys, for coming on. Hey, no problem. I'll come anytime. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, yeah. Zing, zing. All right. Cool. Peace, guys.